Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to talk to you about the best Git Ignore generators that are out there. Now, I don't mean to be cute, but, you know, one of the best Git Ignore generators out there is you. You know what you need in your Git repository. So, all you have to do is go into a Git repository like this one, create a Git Ignore file, you just name it dot git ignore there it is right there and you specify the files that you do not want so if I don't want any scrapbook files I don't want any files with the extension scrap and I don't want any files with the extension McKenzie I just save that in there and all of a sudden my git ignore file is doing what I want it to do okay so that's sort of stage one you are the best git ignore file generator out there I would also say there's a great page over on Atlassian that talks a little bit about how you can configure the git ignore and what the patterns are so you know if you want to get rid of all the log folders you can use a pattern like that if you don't want to have any file with a log extension except that one file that's called important.log you can use a pattern like this so I guess level two git ignore generator is you with you know this uh, Atlassian Bitbucket reference over here I guess level three might be if you're using github um, use their git ignore generator when you create a new repo in github it says do you want to add a git ignore file all you have to do is click this button and look for one of the templates and for example if you're a java developer it'll say okay i'm going to add a git ignore file for a java project if you want to look at it there it is right there it's ignoring all the war files jar files ear files and compiled class files and you know what uh, git lab is not to be outdone if you have a repository in GitLab, all you have to do is add a new file to it i'm doing this online and when you click add file create a new file you've got the option to select from a template and notice one of the templates is git ignore and then you can select from this beautiful set of templates here maybe you're doing some Kotlin development and this will put in all of the appropriate files to ignore in a Kotlin, pro Kotlin project so I guess I would say that is the kind of another level of git ignore generators and finally I guess you know one of my favorites here especially after I've maybe used the github or GitLab auto generator and I've maybe customized things a little bit using the reference from Bitbucket I like to go over to top tool over here and it can help me add some more settings and this is really I think a great generator and so for example maybe I'm doing Kotlin or Java development in Eclipse well, Eclipse generates all sorts of crazy files, so I just type Eclipse in there, and this auto-generated git ignore file, well, it's going to make a reference to all of those crazy files and folders that my Eclipse project will use. So I just have to mosey on over to my git ignore file on GitHub or GitLab, add those in, and now my project is not only going to ignore my Kotlin or my Java created files that I don't need in my source code repository but it's also going to ignore all of the things that Eclipse might generate for me as well so again toptil.com slash developer slash get ignore just get ignore.io will give you access to that so there you go that's just some advice on what I think are some of the best get ignore generators out there now if you enjoyed this tutorial why don't you head over to the server side.com I'm the editor-in-chief over there we got lots of great tutorials on git github bitbucket DevOps tools and enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And if you appreciate these quick to the point and brief YouTube videos, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?